with France's Monsieur Bido at the table already, America's Mr. Burns with Senators Connolly and Vandenberg greets the Russian delegation of Monsieur Molotov and blonde-haired Andrei Vyshinsky. After calm first meetings, discussion warms up on the subject of the ex-Italian colonies. The famous broad shoulders of Foreign Minister Bevin carry Britain's cards-on-the-table policy at a conference which decides vital clauses of the coming peace treaty. American diplomats keep a wary eye on Mr. Molotov's claim to a Russian trusteeship in African Tripolitania, while giving a full hearing to Monsieur Bido and France's claims on beaten Italy. South Africa's General Smuts arrives in Britain for the conference of the Dominion Premiers. On his 13th visit, the General brings a new message of comradeship. English friends here, I bring a message of goodwill, of gratitude, of uh, thanks from South Africa. I carry the goodwill of South Africa to this dear country and its gallant and great-hearted people. The mounting drama of world famine brings a new cut to Britain's strained food reserves. Bread so far unrationed must go to keep alive Indians, Chinese and the starving millions of the East. Europe too is in the grip of impending hunger and Britain is once again first to answer the call to save life. From our own meagre rations, a one-eighth cut in the size of our loaves goes to prevent this. The mounting death roll of the East is a warning that the time for action is now. Promises don't fill the ships, but into the starvation lands goes Britain's own grain reserves, diverted from our needs to where hunger is greatest or where every handful means a life. Pressing for still bigger sacrifices from Britain is America's Clinton Anderson, Secretary for Agriculture, while UNRWA Chief Lagardia appeals to American farmers. Poland, Austria, Greece, Yugoslavia, Italy, Albania, China will be without bread in a few days unless we rush boatloads of wheat to this country. We have the boats, we are ready, we need the wheat. I appeal desperately to the American farmer. Bring in the wheat, bring it in now, bring it in fast. People are dying. Your government has been very generous. The new plan gives the farmer the benefit of protection. You have the advantage of a rising price. You will have a bonus on export wheat. People are dying. Please help. <laughs>